guys, it's Beth, and today I'm going to talk to you about some books I'm going to be reading. This is my first TBR video. I don't know how I'm going to do with those, because like I've said before, I am a mood reader, and so I don't know if I'm actually going to read these books that I'm going to talk to you about, but they're books I do want to read. Some of them I've already started, so hopefully I'll get through these books few books that I'm going to tell you about sometime in February. First book that I plan on reading or finishing because I've already started it is A Spool of Blue Thread by Ann Tyler. This book comes out on February 10th by Bond Street Books. They're an imprint of Random House and Random House Canada was kind enough to send me a copy of this for review. I only have about 100 pages left and I'm really really enjoying this one. This one is an adult literary fiction about a family called the Witchanks. And this is basically, it just talks about their life and the things that happen to them in their daily lives. It might not sound like much, but it's actually really, really good from the first page. I've been just enthralled in it, can't put it down. The next book that I'm planning to read in February is The Winner's Curse by Maria Rutowski. This one was published in March of 2014. As you can probably tell, I borrowed this one from my library. I've read about 70 pages of it so far, so I'm hoping to finish that. And I've heard lots and lots of good things about this book, so hopefully I'm going to enjoy that one. The next book I plan to be reading in February is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, book two, The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. Um, so this one was published by Disney Hyperion in 2006. I'm not 100% sure when the new covers came out, but I do really like them. Um, last month I read the first one, The Lightning Thief, and I absolutely loved it, couldn't put it down. So I'm really excited to, to read this one. It's not that long, um, and I don't think it's going to be that heavy of a read, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get through this one in February, and I'm really looking forward to it. I also plan to read The Illuminations by Andrew Hagen. This one was sent to me again by Random House Canada. And in Canada, this one comes out on February 17th by Penguin Random House. Um, in the U.S., I think it comes out sometime in March. So this one is a literary fiction about a woman and her grandson. This takes place in Scotland. The woman's name is Anne Quirk. She might be, have been a photographer or something like that. Her grandson Luke is serving a tour in Afghanistan. And when he comes home, I'm not exactly sure what happens, but it explores... Lots of stuff to do with family and secrets and the things we keep from each other and from ourselves. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It sounds really good. Um, I, like I said, I was sent this one for review by Random House Canada and I'm really excited to read it and share my thoughts with you guys. The next one that I'm hoping to read in February is The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. This is the first book in the Shades of London trilogy. This one was published in 2012 by Speak. It follows an American teenager named Rory who has just moved to London to go to boarding school. While she's there, someone is recreating the murders of Jack the Ripper and so it sounds really interesting. So this one's a YA mystery thriller kind of novel. I've heard really good things about this one and I'm really excited to read it. Also, I know that the third book in the trilogy, The Shadow Cabinet, is coming out soon. And so I'm looking forward to reading this one and the second one and then jumping into the third one. If you've watched my TBR Jar video, you know for February that my challenge is to listen to an audiobook. So I haven't totally decided which audiobook that I'm going to be listening to, but here are some of the options that I've come up with so far. First one is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. I've heard lots of good things about this one. I'm not 100% sure what it's about, but I know that it's a fairy tale retelling. So another audiobook that I've been thinking about listening to is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I listened to both of the books in the If I Stay Duology on audiobook, and I really did like those. I've heard good things about this one so far. It only recently came out, and so that's another one I'm thinking about listening to. Final option for audiobook that I have decided on this month is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. This is Holly Black's latest book. I'm pretty sure it involves fairies. It sounds really cool and I'm looking forward to either listening to this one or reading this one sometime. The final book that I have on my February TBR is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Mistborn trilogy and everyone on booktube raves about this trilogy. The first edition of this book was published in 2006 by Tor Books. This international edition is from the UK. It was published in 2009 by Orion. This one is set in a really interesting sounding fantasy world and there's a really cool magic system that I'm really looking forward to learning about. Also, this cover is just so beautiful. I really like it. I really like the covers of these editions. Looking forward to reading that one. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm not sure if I'll actually end up reading all of these books. You'll hear all about it in my February wrap up. Please let me know in the comments section below if there's one of these books that you think I should read first if, or if there's another book you think I should add to my TBR. Please also let me know which audiobook you think I should listen to because I'm having difficulty deciding which one to get on Audible so 
any help would be greatly appreciated. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you want to connect with me. Thanks again for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye guys!